Yeah, so There's let's go ahead and wonderful. look at these uh, rosters. Can we get Fringe B, who's going to be in lane two up there? Fringe B on Hill 1, they have Tessa <laughs> Sophie Whedon. Hill 2, Mia Kaiser. Hill 3, Helen Chang. Hill 4, Chandler Saborin. Hill 5, Hannah Mahone. And the driver, Amy Chen in blue shift. And in lane one, we have Pika A. Hill one, Laura Oshner. Hill two, Megan Jabe. Hill three, Erica Foos. Hill four, Dominique Pitak. And hill five, Laurel Perea. The driver, Victoria Van Benshoden. And she is in Banshee. About 30 seconds here to the start of this, the buggies getting out, ready for the course. Fringe B looking to make this interesting, but Pika in a really good position to uh, get themselves on that podium. And as, and a, as a reminder, Pika eight, was 233 uh, yesterday. Six, five, four, three, Two, one, ready, set. And here they are off and up the hill. Fringe B's hill one there, trying to keep even with Pika. Pika now though starting to separate some really big pushes from their hill one. Laura Oshner. The final transition comes right there, right a little bit over 22. Not the best pickup right there yeah, that, from one to two. That was not a great transition. That could cost them a little bit here. Lost a little bit of momentum there, but still well ahead of fringe B. Both squads into the free roll. Pika A here rolling Banshee. I mean, Banshee is, is, is a great buggy. Uh, blue shift for, for fringe B was there 18 last year, and also a good buggy, but probably won't be able to gain much ground on Banshee out, out on the free roll. It does look like they are maintaining their distance fairly well. Maybe an aspect of uh, some loss of speed, about 103 on the stop sign there for them. So right in line with some of these top times we've been seeing. And fringe B around 106. And here comes Banshee just screaming down, flag to flag, getting up to the shoe flag here. We'll see how she turns. Very smooth, looks great. Uh, excellent, excellent line. Uh, and Blue Chef right behind her. It uh, looks like Blue Ship might have a bit of an advantage in the, free, the yeah, roll up there. Yeah, Blue Ship looks like they might be gaining a little bit. Yeah, wow. it looks like it. Look at this coming into Hill 3 right there. Blue Ship making up a lot of ground. And maybe burn the pusher a little bit there on Hill 3, but this is neck and neck, and this is going to come down to A-team pushers versus B-team pushers. The transition to 3 to 4 comes right there. And you don't always expect to see a race like this, so neck and neck. Chandler Sabor, excuse me, Dominique Pitak right there for Pika, making a little bit of separation here. Showing her credentials, she pushed Hill 4 for Pike last year as well. And that was a little bit of excitement there for a minute, but it looks like Pika really separating themselves with the quality of their push team. Laura Perea handing it, excuse me, Laurel Perea taking it now. She's on Hill 5 right there. Hannah Mahone for Fringe B. Several buggy lengths behind. And let's look what time Pika puts up here. They need a 236 for first. And let's see. We're going to see. She's coming here, looking to make sure she has that hand on the push bar. Able to go over and we will get you that exact time as soon as we have it. Fringe B coming through, a really nice time for them as well. Uh, maybe cutting off, it looks like, potentially five seconds from yesterday. Again, trying to get these official times for you and let you know. Uh, Pika A, their time did just come through. It is a 2.35. 0.10, that puts them into first place. Not necessarily the race they wanted, but the race they needed to take over the number one spot there.